<laughs> yes, definitely. Um, this is a you know VCU Richmond game. We we know that uh, every time that uh, we get the opportunity to compete against each other, that it's going to be a grind out. Uh, I think both teams are playing really hard, and comes down to those those final possessions. And you know, sitting right next to me is the clutch free throw shooter of the game. You know, when you're when you're trying to give yourself a cushion. It's just um, it's a great spot for a coach to be in when you know that you can just get her the balls and the ball inbounds and and go up and uh, shoot those foul shots and knock them down. So uh, excited! Every A10 win right now is a big one for us, and you know we're looking forward for St. Louis on Sunday. You said uh, you know every A10 game is a battle, but even more so this, this crosstown rivalry. You just kind of know no matter what the records are, no matter what each team's doing, this is just going to be a battle throughout the year. Touching that first. Um, yeah, like she said, it's always going to be a battle. Uh, coach goes into every ga every game saying it's going to be a grind, and that's what it is. Every game is a grind, no matter if we're the upper hand team going in or the lower hand team. It's it's always a grind. Thank you, coach. I mean, no matter what, it's us versus Richmond. It's just going to be it's going to end like this every time, right? It's fun, you know. It's what's exciting about being in the A10 and and having a cross town uh, rivalry. It's uh, you know, it's fun. It's it's you know, Yankees, Red Sox, but you know, pick it out the the best ones and I love it. I think our players love playing in it. It brings an intensity to it and you know, again for us it's just taking the next step and, and playing for forty minutes and, and gearing up one game at a time. But you're right, it's uh, it's Richmond, VCU and, and we love playing in those games. I think I was just in the moment, you know, like Coach said, we wanted that cushion, and what free throws is what got us that cushion. Gary, you're a senior. <laughs> what does this rivalry mean to a player who's been here, who now who understands it, who's been through it? You came up big today. Isis came up big today. Mariah hasn't been here. She made some big shots for you. Why is it the seniors respond so well in, in this situation? Well, I think um, we, we've been here before. You know, We know how big this game is, and it's the battle of Richmond. And we, we know these girls. We're friends with these girls. But when we're on the court, it's, it's game time, and we're, we want to play. You know, I think if you look in the, the last couple of games, our um, our inside game um, has really stepped up. Has It's escalated. You know, uh, Mimo's giving us some really good points. Uh, Sandra Skinner's come in and, and being able to score. And, and when you have post players that uh, – can, can score, it opens up a lot more things for your guards. And I think we're starting to see the benefits of that. You know, our post players are really young. In the first semester, they're getting a lot of experience and, and finding ways to, to play hard and, and learn how to play at the pace. And, and then, you know, Mimo, I think, is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Um, and, and that really helps open up our offense. Our assistant coach do a tremendous job refereeing during our practices, right, right. Key? Right, right, right. Um, it is, uh, it's always an emphasis, you know, I think, you know, we're really athletic, and if we can keep ourselves in front without putting our hands on, then it, uh, it really forces team to score over us. Um, but unfortunately, in some of our games, we've been, we've been called for that hand checking, so it's a point of emphasis in our practices to, to keep our hands off, and, you know, you, you expect that from your, your upperclassmen to really take that next step and, and play really disciplined. I think so. I think, you know, it's uh, Ashley's one of our best free throw shooters. She's one of our best defenders and, and really gets out and run. And it was good to be able to have her back. Yeah, I think, just think took an inadvertent going for the loose ball. Is that what it was that she had poked in the 
You know, I think it's, it's exciting to have St. Louis coming in. You know, they're the preseason number one. Um, they're playing well right now. We get to have them at home and to start it off. And they're one of the teams that we play twice. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's exciting. You know, we'll, we'll go through and prep the same way we do for every other game um, and really just focus on trying to keep their legs loose and, and ready to go. And then obviously what our game plan um, will be, we'll, you know, we'll work on that these next couple of practices and, and hopefully, you know, have a great crowd here at the Stew and, and be ready to play St. Louis. Beth, you talked about being <coughs> strength and, and banging around in the world post, knocking bodies around and everything. Richmond ties it with Tolson's long three with about two minutes left and maybe less than that. And then bemo has got to go up and shoot free throws in a tie game. Knocks both of them down, not even making the net. Just like we planned. Is she capable of that? <laughs> Clearly, tonight she was. Um, and, uh, you know, honestly, we, we've had some, you know, challenging conversations with our players about, hey, we've got to really get in and, and keep working on our foul shots. Um, it's something that we do every, every practice after every drill. And, you know, just repetition. But, uh, you know, Mimo is a competitor. And there was no doubt that uh, she came to play today. And that's what we expect, that she would be up there and, and knock those down. It was great to see. Okay. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you, guys.